Hi, I'm Mike Hamilton. I'm over here at Lithia Toyota Redding, California. And behind me is a 2021 Toyota Highlander Platinum Hybrid All-Wheel Drive. I'll be right back. Back in 2016, Toyota started rebuilding their line of cars and came up with a new platform called TNGA, Toyota New Global Architecture. Finally, they got to the Highlander and redid the Highlander, rebuilt it, remade it into what it is today in 2020. What I have in front of you is a 2021 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Platinum all-wheel drive with just about every feature it could come with except for the tow package so let's go over this here so we have that honeycomb grill like Toyota does on all their vehicles for most of their vehicles and then we have a bird's eye camera one of the four cameras for bird's eyes up front here we have one under each side mirror one in the back and there's also a fifth camera where your rear view mirror becomes a camera I will show that when I get in there when you see blue in the logo for Toyota, that means it's some sort of electrified vehicle. This vehicle, from my knowledge, it has the best fuel economy of its size, at uh, 35 miles to get on the uh, to the gallon combined. So let's kind of go down here and take a look. Here we have LED fog lights, LED headlights with LED accent lights, and you have your uh, park front parking sonar on here. And then behind that logo is a radar system that's used for your adaptive cruise control, your smart stop, lane departure detection is all part of that. And then you have, a, again, like some more bold lines here of that TNGA platform there. So you're getting uh, the bolder lines and also that has to do with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. And then you go up into the windshield and you have a camera system that identifies pedestrians and vehicles that are in front of you the lines in the road uh, and also the uh, auto dimming high beams are part of that all right this is number 100 the video number 100 I started my YouTube channel almost a year ago and this video is the number 100 view I have a giveaway I'm gonna do I'm gonna be giving this JBL headphones to a lucky winner what I need from you to help me grow my channel is to like if you haven't subscribed subscribe and I need a comment uh, uh, anything you want to say I like hot dogs I don't care but write something in the comment line I'm gonna run this for five days and then I'm gonna pick a lucky winner and one of you will win these headphones thanks a lot for watching my channel Toyota provides a really nice tire here we got a Bridgestone tire sitting on 20 inch rims I'd like to point out these rims are to match the platinum uh, color by uh, actually having the platinum finish on these rims. And then I'm going to back out this camera here. We have our all-wheel drive badge, our hybrid badge here. And then up on the mirrors we have our uh, turn signal indicators for that safe for merging in on the freeways or getting into roads and different lanes. And the, the turn signals will be there. Wind vortex generators, Toyota does that often on most of their vehicles. And then this comes with the uh, push start or proximity key. You get a key that looks like this. It says Highlander on the back there, of course. And then uh, you could use this like a normal fob. It has the power lift gate thing there. And you can just come up to here. And uh, if I want to lock this, these two little notches there, I just put my fingers on the notch. That locks the vehicle. I want to open up the door. All I just put my hand on the door. Unlock. So let me show you some of the stuff inside on the passenger side. So we have our... Uh, leather accents here this is uh, known as graphite so it's basically a light gray is this here so um, and then you get this uh, faux wood but it still looks really good and then coming across here one thing I think is a little bit of a bummer on this vehicle it does not have eight or ten way power for the passenger seat and they put that in a Camry so of all things you could get that on a lower vehicle in the Camry I wish they would get more adjustability for their passenger front passenger seat we got a uh, soft materials here um, down here we get that leather again then we get some kind of a, a, a carbon fiber look to that I will go over that after I get in there and you get that nice diamond stitching in here this is heated and ventilated front seats let's move on 
Let's go to the Minroni or window sticker. Uh, pretty good safety on this here. We're getting five stars in most of the categories, four stars in the other categories, but it should be a five star overall rated vehicle. Again, this is a Highlander Hybrid Platinum. This has got 2.5 liter four cylinder and electric motors in combination. Makes 243 horsepower combined. And this is what's crazy about it, that we have 35 miles a gallon fuel economy. MSRP, how this one is built, is $52,483. Let's go up to the top. The one thing the Platinum gets that you can't get at any other level is the panoramic sunroof. This one also is equipped with roof rack crossbars. They are fixed. They cannot move. I think these support something like 150 pounds of weight on them. Let's continue down towards the back here. And you have your second wind vortex generator here. This will scrub off the batter and make the, make the uh, driving nicer, tighter, all that. And let's head over to the back. Uh, they do make a tow package. It's pretty rare on the hybrid model. You see that mostly in the gas models. The gas models have the ability to tow up to 5,000 pounds. The hybrid is 3,500 pounds because of the CVT transmission. So then they, this was going to be added on. This is an, uh, what they call rear bumper applique. There's a couple styles that's plastic, but it looks to be chrome looking. But they make a plastic one or just a vinyl one that covers that. Then we're going to get our badging again. So our Highlander, our Platinum, it's going to tell us it's hybrid. Your Toyota with the blue uh, halo inside to tell you it's Electrify. This is some sort of a hybrid. And up on top again, we got our Shark Fin. That's going to be for our Safety Connect, our XM Radio, uh, all part of that there. Windshield wiper uh, is on the back here too. Also, this has the, uh, I could use the pro this key here. So let me demonstrate open. opening the gate. There's four ways I could open this uh, lift gate. There's a button inside, it's on the key fob. I could squeeze this handle, let go, and I could also kick right in the middle of this. And then it's just gonna open right up. Very simple there. This is known as an umbrella lift gate. And what that means is so if I'm underneath this right here and it's raining and we just had a little bit of rain today that you're not going to get wet underneath like taking groceries and things out which is real nice. Uh, I have this back row laying down so we all know how that works but this has uh, the ability to do seven passengers. Now they do make a bench middle row configuration. I believe it's on the Platinum and, the, uh, and also the Limited. I know 100% has this JBL Audio is in this one here we have a 1500 watt power inverter so we have two places for a plugs in that owner's leather portfolio this other already has the all-weather cargo uh, tray that goes out the back rest of the third row and inside here is our all-weather floor mats so this is another way i could close this thing is hitting this button here and again on the back here we have rear parking sonar so this has also reverse smart stop along with uh, forward smart stop so you don't get in an accident or run somebody in a over in a crosswalk. Your fill is on the driver's side on this one here and let's head over into the back seats and let's start looking at that. So inside here again this is that um, uh, graphite or light gray interior and then you can come in here. I had that seat all the way back for me and it's, I, it's still giving me quite a bit of room. I got probably three inches or better um, and then you got the kiddos this is going to be nice let me see if I can back that camera out and they can look at this guy on long trips that's going to be uh, really nice they're going to have some entertainment and, and although this doesn't have rear entertainment in it but uh, they, they'll be able to look around and, ha and feel less uh, claustrophobic back here also for the babies here we have a, a, a manual shades on these back windows uh, so they won't get blinded when you're uh, when your youngsters are too young to uh, cover their eyes so that's really nice uh, this one here being the platinum we're going to get that uh, heated middle row here too let me get that camera back around here so i get that closer so we got our heated seats and then um, you got climate controls for the uh, rear passengers here uh, we got usbs down there no usb c in this one yet just regular usbs and then we have a fi the other 1500 watt power inverters that's a lot of power so you could really run something like a microwave off of this thing it's that much power so that's really good that's the the uh, most powerful inverter in toyota land is in this vehicle and also you could get it in the hybrid sienna which is the new minivan that's out and available now only comes in a hybrid this one has the gaps options to it too let's take a look at this front seat is it's pretty pretty enormous 
lots of nice room and, and things in here. So, uh, I mean, there's, your visibility is just so good in this vehicle. I love the visibility of this vehicle. Um, Toyota does have some hard plastics in here. That's right, really getting to where the, everything in the front is pretty much soft touch except for like wood grain accents and things like that. Our air vents are on the top here, so now you have controls for the middle row. The back row does not have their own air controls, but they do have air vents. This is uh, also equipped with blind spot monitors there and also has uh, heated mirrors and rear defrost is all part of that. Coming to the inside here, uh, again, we're getting that soft touch for the front there. I guess we do have a little bit of hard plastics down here. We got a storage and a bottle holder in there. And then typical stuff we're gonna find on every car, power windows, power mirrors, power door locks. And then you get memory seats for this one here. So limited and platinum will get that on this here. Uh, and then we go on over here to the special stuff. We have our power lift gate. That's one of our four ways we could open or close this uh, lift gate back there. Uh, heated steering wheel, it's got the cold weather package. Uh, the S also has heated windshield wipers, again, ice and snow. So, so the steer, uh, wipers don't stick to the uh, windshield. We got our 360 camera view, our, our AC uh, 120 volt that turns on those inverters. If, when you need them, the vehicle will have to be running to use that. And then our A, it looks like a headlight, is for our auto dimming high beams. Uh, coming down to this side, we do have 10 way power and power lumbar support again heated and ventilated seats i will talk about that as i get into the vehicle let's go ahead and get inside and i'm gonna back up this camera here so we can see the steering wheel here lots of controls on this steering wheel so we have our toggle there it's going to control our driver's information center back arrow just like a phone uh, we got radio controls on the bottom talk push the talk you could use it to tow it away or you could use for a like hey siri siri works really good in this here our adaptive cruise control button, our regular, uh, our lane departure, and uh, and also our lane trace assistance are on here. Our setting our cruise control and then modes for our radios. Let's go ahead and turn her on. Again, this is going to be push button here. So being it's a hybrid, it's not just going to need to fire up. Let me get the steering wheel closer, and then uh, we can go over all this stuff on here. So this is known as the eco screen. Let me turn down the air. So I don't get the air in the mics. And then uh, it's going to give us economy. It's got seven miles on it. So it's not going to have a range of economy yet. Uh, then it's, this is a cool thing. You try to beat my mom. She has one of these. So she has a limited all-wheel all drive uh, hybrid. And the best she's done so far is playing this scoring game. It's 44 miles to the gallon. Uh, so she tries to challenge herself to get better fuel mileage each time. You know, it's called hyper -miling. And then we have our digital miles per hour that's available on this. And then back over to that eco screen. Coming down here is our driver's information. Uh, this will let, this gives you compass coordinates. Those, uh, those things there. Uh, radio information is on here. Uh, and then you, we got our uh, energy monitor. And then where's my lane departure? I was looking for that. Let me try to get back to there. I think, I think it's up in here there we go so here's our lane departure screen gives us a digital miles per hour the uh when you are over 32 miles an hour it's going to see the lines in the road and as you start to stray out of your lane it's going to alert you by beeping at you and then slightly steer correct you in cruise control it can lane trace assist for you so all you have to do is keep your hand on the steering wheel and slight turns on the highway not real sharp turns it will just track itself down the middle of the road and steer for you. Uh, Toyota does combine the new with the old. This is the biggest information center that's available through Toyota. It's this seven inch uh, digital screen, but you do have the uh, set of the tachometer, which you'll have in the in the gas model this. You have a, a base an eco meter. So you're trying to keep that needle in that green to give you your best fuel mileage. Uh, and then uh, and when you see that ready, that means the vehicle is on. T typically the vehicle greets you too. And then on the other side is uh, a speedometer and, and your uh, analog fill gauge is on there. So up on top here, it does have heads up display or what's just known as HUD. It's gonna be hard for me to see that in a day, uh, but this gives you your miles per hour. It could give you that eco range again, your lane tra trace and lane departure alert there. And it'll actually uh, read the speed limits as you go by on this here too. So I'm gonna get, let's get back down here and scroll. So this is all the stuff you have, lane departure with steer assistance and lane trace assistance, pre-collision, so speeds 
up to 110 miles an hour, but it feels you're going to be in an accident. It's going to break hard by 30 miles an hour at least and slow you down. And then you have your blind spot monitoring system in here, uh, parking son sonar uh, front and back. And then you have a rear cross traffic alert, so that sonar is looking around the corners as you're backing out of a park install blind. It sees cyclists, a person walking, a car coming, it's going to beep audibly inside and then alerts you by flashing in the in the mirror what direction the uh, something or somebody is coming from uh, this is good as rear backup uh, smart smart stop so if you're gonna uh, back into something that's gonna stop before you could do that that's actually saved me in one of these vehicles that we got a tight parking lot that saved me from uh, wrecking a couple different times heads up display which I just talked about and this is the one that reads stop signs and speed limits as you go by so this is the full 2.5 there and has everything and then this is your information center like this will tell you if you have like a charging issue or other issues right now you know as i'm sitting in a seat and i don't have my seat belt on and the vehicle's running so it's giving the me that information there and then your trip and odometer buttons over here windshield uh, well this side's your lights it has lights and uh uh, high beam, low beam, and, and fog lights are available on this one. Then the other sides are windshield wiper with auto delays, windshield washer, all that stuff is on this one here. Let's continue on. We have our uh, infotainment screen. I'm going to get a little closer to this. This is known as a three panel. This is the largest infotainment screen that Toyota builds. It's 12.3 inches. It's also high definition. It has integrated maps on here. By touching that, we'll open up the full maps. Uh, this is also satellite updated, so no more hard chips in this here, so you could get the uh, uh, maps will continuously update. You also have both platforms of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it will, it will, uh, you could use Waze Maps on this, and your uh, music applications and other few watered-down apps that, that they allow you to use on your phone through both those two formats here. This does have the uh, best audio system let me first of all let me get back into uh, the uh, info screen here um, this gives you your all-wheel drive modes on here which is pretty cool and then um, go to menu here and then project this is where we're gonna find the uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto when we plug it in but if I want to get into here and I want to get some uh, uh, weather and traffic updates that's available through here uh, through HD radio that, that you'll have that um, and then what I really like about this is you get this hard button displays down here that gives you your maps your menu your audio but they also give it to you on touchscreen too so right here I could mess with my climate controls I could I could do my heat cooled seats and heated seats on here I have my audio sources here I have uh, my trip information um, and we got we got our all-wheel drive information on here so you, you got a bunch of different settings on here that's some really nice features along with the uh, um, hard buttons to use on here so let me go back into menu let's get back to the uh, well actually home and we'll get back to this three panel here so let me demonstrate the audio system this is one of the most powerful systems this is known but as JBL audio with clarify on here and this has a booming sound system clarify uh, it opens up the bandwidth so if you have digital music like I'm gonna have on right now uh, it will expand the the uh, bandwidth to make the music more rich and clear when you're watch, listening to radio it does um, it does take the music and uh, and compress the bands and so you don't have as good a clarity as this is what's really available to you. Let's continue on so down below here we have our three stage heated and ventilated seats on here we have our climate controls for his and hers here um, auto on and off you have uh, fan speeds in the middle there uh, and you'll have your uh, different flows available for you uh, and then the passenger gets their of course their own heat controls rear defrost front defrost all part of this here and then continuing on we have pockets and cubbies here for our uh, our electronics there's a, a little hole here that you could pull out and and then put your plugs through here so you have 
your primary USB here. This is the one that plurts in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have a device known as a dongle for Apple CarPlay that you could plug into that, make your Apple CarPlay wireless until Toyota goes to the wireless on the Apple CarPlay. And then these are just two charging ports plus a 12 volt charging port. Toyota's going to give you a bunch of drink holders. So we have a couple more, a couple drink holders here. We got one in the door pockets for cell phone storage. Um, as they change this vehicle, they've uh, upgraded the shifting. So we're on a uh, CVT transmission. So it's really no shift points, but it mimics in sequential having six speeds. If you're in the automatic, it has actually uh, an eight speed transmission. But I like how this thing shifts down now. And then this gives you you or uh, your bird's eye camera view here, so you're getting the uh, reverse look. And I also have it set for drive too. This will stay on until you go above seven miles an hour, and it gives you that panoramic view all around you, plus uh, um, plus off your side mirrors and front camera too, so you can see just pretty much everything around you with guidelines too. So which is uh, pretty cool on this here too. Now let's go back down to the shifter here. We have. Uh, drive modes available for this here so this has a a sport mode so if you want to get zippy put it in sport it also tightens up your steering stiffens up your suspension normals how everybody mostly drives and you have an eco mode then we have power emergency brake just put it in into gear either reverse or drive takes it out of emergency brake and parking it will set it so there's no having to uh, like manually set the brake and this this is the brake hold button so when that's set all you got to do is put you when it comes to police stop you'll see it say hold in yellow you can take your foot off the brake and it won't move until you push the gas pedal and also on this one here you have a trail mode when you're going into the uh, gas models there's more uh, than that they'll have a rock and sand mode and, and things like that also available let's open up the uh, center center console in here we have our Qi wireless charging pad for our cell phones below that here is some storage and more 12 volt power in there all right, let's go up to the rear view mirror. This isn't any rear view mirror. Of course, it's auto dimming like it should be for its uh, class of vehicle. It has your garage door memory sets, which is known as home link. But then there's a special lever underneath. That lever there turns this whole thing into one big TV monitor. So I just turn, flip this lever and boom, that's a rear view camera. That's the fifth camera in here. So imagine if you have heads in boxes or whatever blocking that rear window back there and you can't see out of it you just flip that mirror up and then boom you have your mirror visible again in high definition which is a pretty cool uh, feature for this vehicle so you can see out that Toyota does that in a couple other of their vehicles too uh, so that's a nice feature by just flipping that on then you have now a, a, you can see out your back within if, if that window's blocked coming up to the top here we have sunglass holders convex mirrors to look at the babies and the kids uh, so that's what that is and then you can put your sunglasses in here and then uh, dome lights to on reading lights and then we have our this is our, our window shade here so that that will cover all the way up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take that back and this has both the moon roof and sunroof and a wind sh and a windshade or windscreen there so very nice here and then you have also a special button in here this is basically SOS or I like to call that Toyota OnStar so for emergencies if this vehicle was ever in an accident where airbags deployed uh, it will alert the call center that you've been in an accident um, they will be reaching out to you and asking if you need help. If you're not responsive, they'll have GPS coordinates. They'll have sp uh, speed of the accident that they could give emergency responders that are coming to your aid. Also, if you're in an emergency, you can, of course, push that button. It also does stolen vehicle locator. So if your vehicle is stolen and it's registered, uh, it's uh, good for the first year. Then it's uh, there's an annual fee to keep the rest of the services going. Roadside assistance is part of that. And of course you got your emergency services on there and also it comes with an app where you can remotely start the vehicle um, either from the fob or you could do it from your phone with the phone it's a little bit more 
high tech. It could check your fill levels. It could roll up your windows. It could unlock or lock the vehicle. It could start it up. You and uh, you could turn the climate on and off. You just have to set the air to what temperature you want and fan speed. So if you need to want to cool it up, cool it or or, or heat it up, and then um, you don't have to be directional. So like a key fob that's remote start, you have to be looking at the vehicle to do that. You could be on the other side of the world and start this vehicle from your phone app, which is pretty pretty neat. Again, I'm Mike Hamilton at Lithia Toyota Ready, and thank you for watching number 100 video, this one. So it's been almost one year, and I've hit some milestones here recently within the last week. I went over 500 subscribers. Thank you very much for uh, your uh, loyalty to my channel. I try to keep getting better with these videos as I go along. And then you also have the Jeff and Hammy show on there, too, for uh, beginning uh, car sales people. Um, but again, this is the nicest and the most luxurious of the uh, Toyota Highlanders and also the best fuel economy of a vehicle of this size that I know of, not not including a, an ele full electric vehicle. And then you don't have that range anxiety like uh, you're going to run out of electricity. you got to figure out where you got to stop. Not necessary with this vehicle. All-wheel drive available. So that used to be a, a always all-wheel drive in hybrids. Now it's an optional thing. So... Uh, this one has an optional all-wheel drive, optional tow package you could get on this uh, hybrid. Again, the, it's more common with the V6 engine, uh, it, but dude, this one has that option to it. But it's, it has everything else in it. Uh, very nicely opponent. They drive unbelievable on this vehicle. So I know I, like people complain I don't do test drives. Uh, this thing is super smooth and super quiet. I don't even know what to say about it. Like, I'm going to go on the road and say how nice it drives. Okay, so it... It drives nice. Go see your local Toyota dealer. You'll find out how, how great this drives. Now, complaints, power telescopic steering should be in something of this price range. Uh, a 10-way power adjustable power seat for the front passenger should be in this here. Uh, beyond that, like maybe, so, you know, gosh, I don't even know. Like, I could, you know, it's the... It, uh, uh, Toyota's never going to get too bold with their styling and stuff. It's just uh, they're a little bit more vanilla than other brands. Um, but this is so super reliable, so nice to drive, uh, quiet. You could talk really low in this and hear somebody comfortably. You don't have to raise your voice. You don't get that noise outside. Um, pricing is competitive with the with the other models of its class. So, anyways, thank you again for watching my video on Mike Hamilton. Have a great day.